So this is germination. So we've got two seeds that have germinated and a third one still to come up. So at this point, this third seedling is possibly still vulnerable from being stolen by mice or rodents. Um, I will put a little image up on the screen for you next so you can see the germination process. Quandary, you've got one sweet pea up, the other two are not up. Do you take them out or do you leave them in the kitchen? Just take them out to the greenhouse during the day and then you can always bring them back in at night to protect them. If one of them has germinated, the chances are the other two are on their way. You just can't see them break the soil surface just yet. So you'll see from that point, there is not really much when they get to this kind of stage to steal from the mice and roses. They can still be attacked and be eaten by wildlife. So if you do, you just need to use your common sense. By the back door in a small garden is usually pretty safe, but as I say, use your common sense, bring them in at night if you feel like you need to. Um, and then when they get to the three week stage, can you see if they've got enough light, they are not growing, they haven't grown any taller, but what is growing is the canopy of leaves. And that is now gonna open. The seed had everything it needed in the seed coat to get to this stage, but now it needs to start producing its own food. And for that, it needs photosynthesis and it needs leaves. Now this is a spring sunshine variety. You will find over the course of the season, the spring sunshine varieties will grow faster than the Spencer varieties because they are early flowering types and the flowering is initiated at less hours of daylight. It's all in the handbook, but let me give you a quick jump forward to February. Talking about our autumn jump starter sweet peas, I just want to show you the difference between the early flowering variety and the Spencer types, which were sown at the same time. Look at the difference between the size of the plants. And that's just because they are different varieties. These are the autumn jump starter sweet peas. They're now on top of the cold frames. They've been properly hardened off. I'm just allowing them to get right out in the breeze today. I'm going to check all the pots and make sure that everybody's been fed and watered. So one last seaweed feed ahead of planting out time. The weather forecast looks really good. So I'm hoping I can get them out in their final positions in the next few days. Now making the hole bigger than the pot means that the plant can get its roots out really easily into the surrounding soil and settle itself in. Now it might appear that they're not doing anything for a few weeks, but they are. They'll be moving in below the soil surface and then all of a sudden they will take off. Outstanding. I love her.